Hi, my name is Mike Caponia, and on behalf of Stony Brook ASDA, I'm going to present to you some key information on resumes and CVs. First of all, if you're a first or second dental year student, you might want to start organizing all of the activities and organizations you are a part of in a Word document or maybe on a sheet of paper, whichever works for you. This will be very helpful when you actually go to write your resume and CV, as you will have everything organized and in one place. You also may want to consider joining an organization that you find particularly interesting, such as ASDA, and for all four years participate in this organization, as this shows leadership and also helps build substance for your resume. Finally, you might want to consider finding a mentor or somebody that knows you well who can look over your CV and show you areas where you should either explain more or explain less. Now in terms of actually writing the resume or CV, there's some key do's and don'ts. First thing you want to do is you want to bold your name at the top. This allows the reader to quickly identify whose resume or CV they are reading. Some don'ts are you do not want to use jargon or slang as this looks unprofessional and you want to use fonts that are easy to read and also a font type that's not too small but not too large. Also, using power words such as mobilized, collaborated, revamped helps give the resume better feel and a better read. An entire list of these can be found just using a simple Google search. Also, never overstate what you have done. You have to be honest on your CV as they can either check and it would look bad in an interview if you can't explain what you have done. Also, for visual um, aesthetics, use white spaces to break up heavy areas of text as it makes it easier to read. Now for sections that must be included on your resume and CV. You must include your educational background. This includes your dental school, the degree you obtained, the years you were in dental school, and also your undergraduate years, and your GPA for both of those. High school does not have to be included in this section. You also will want to include any research you have done, especially if it's been published, you want to indicate this there as well. Now the difference between a resume and a CV at this point would be the research section can be tailored towards the um, specialty that you're going for. For example, if you're going for pediatrics, you want to include all relevant research for pediatric dentistry. The next session, section you want to include is leadership and professional service. Give concrete examples to help your achievements stand out and to give more substance to your CV. The next section is volunteer activities or community service, including outreach. Include whether you, or not you help coordinate these events as well and what you did to help coordinate them. Finally, you want to include professional affiliations. These are all the organizations such as ASDA and ZIP or any other clubs you're a part of in dental school. You want to highlight the associations and on the right hand side include the years, not the months, but the years in which you are part of these organizations. Everything in this section, in these sections, should be listed in reverse chronological order, so the one that happened most recent is first. In addition to these sections that must be included, there are what I'll call bonus sections. These can include teaching experiences. For example, if you help teach an undergrad class uh, about dentistry, that could be included in the section. Any publications or presentations, such as writing for the As the Newspaper or Mouth, and also a section on other skills that will be beneficial in the work environment, such as if you speak uh, multiple languages would be helpful but you don't want to really include hobbies here. They can come up in an interview and it's important to be able to talk about them, but it's not something that should be listed on your CV or resume. Finally, awards and recognitions should be included as well. These can include the Gold Crown Award for ASDA or any other um, recognitions that you have received. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. My email address is mcaponia, C-A-P-O-G-N-A, 24 at gmail.com. Thank you.